Astronomy is a fascinating subject. And the more you discover about the universe, the more you realize there is to If know. you look through all these interesting researches which we have done over the past 50 years, it's not that all the great secrets are hidden in the black holes far away the galaxies. Some of them dwell really close to our home. From ice dunes on Pluto to Jupiter's luminous moon, our solar system is home to all kinds of elusive, mind-boggling phenomena. Now, in this video, let's discuss 10 astonishing secrets of our solar system. So without further ado, let's start. Number 10, strange things which are present in the clouds of Venus. One of the greatest discoveries of recent times had been lifelike conditions found around 30 miles above the surface of Venus. Astronomers believe Venus was once a lot like Earth. Its surface was covered with great lakes and oceans. But just like us, toxic gases, environmental warming scorched the planet, turning the wetlands on Venus into arid landscapes which we see there today. Scientists wonder if life existed on Venus. And if so, could life have survived ascending into the clouds? Now, given the conditions 30 miles above the surface are very, very similar to Earth, it could be a great discovery. The good thing is that, unlike Musk, there are some entrepreneurs like Peter Beck who are obsessed with Venus. In 2023, his company Rocket Lab plans to send a robot to search the clouds of Venus for signs of extraterrestrial life. Now, this Californian spacecraft firm hopes to find living beings floating miles above the barren ground. Well, you never know, we might find something really interesting. Number nine, space hurricanes. In 2014, scientists noticed a strange vortex swirling around above the North Pole. This unusual spiral of auroral light measured over 600 miles wide, dazzling the skies for eight hours before fading into night. Until recently, researchers struggled to explain what the giant patch of light was and why it was there in the first place. Physicists at Shandong University in China have managed to shed some light on this situation. Now, using satellite data collected during the Cold War, Kuing He Zhang explained that mysterious space hurricane was large spiral of electrically charged gas. Now, celestial whirlpools like the one seen in 2014 are created by showers of electrons ejected from the sun. The minuscule particles cascade into the Earth's magnetic field, crashing into gas atoms in the upper atmosphere and releasing bright flashes of light. Now, Zhang and his team reckon space hurricanes must have occurred before 2014, but this is the first time scientists have identified one, and they have had some explanation for it. This is just one phenomenon. You know, there are many more for us to discover right here on Earth. We don't even have to go into the outer space. Let's move on to the next one. Number eight, methane on Mars. Now, David Bowie famously sang about the prospects of aliens dwelling on the red planet. Anyhow, now we have evidence that there may be creatures up there. Now, astronomers have detected methane on Mars several times. This is not just one time. Now, the presence of gas has led some scientists to speculate that life could exist on the red planet. On Earth, living organisms are the most common producers of methane. Now, this directly means that finding methane somewhere can actually directly lead to life. Now, it would follow that it could be the case on the other planets too. Every time scientists find new evidence of Martian methane, they come one step closer to discovering if anything lives on our neighboring planet. In 2019, NASA's Curiosity vehicle uncovered a surge of methane gas in Mars' atmosphere. The record high spike was detected inside Gale, a 96-mile wide crater that the rover has been scoping out since it landed. This is not the first time Curiosity has come across spikes of methane. The exploration rover detected gas twice from 2013-14, but these were significantly lower than the latest measurements. The remarkable discovery hints at extraterrestrial life, but it is not a definite proof of Martian microbes. Methane is also produced through geological processes like certain rock minerals reacting with water. Astronomers need to gather more evidence before they can identify the source of the gas. Come what may, most promising planet where we may eventually find life is Mars. Anyways, 
Number seven is Plutonian ice dunes. The surface of Pluto is a strange and mysterious place. Scientists used to believe that the dwarf planet was soulless and barren. They reckoned the atmosphere was nowhere near thick enough for dynamic features to form. However, recent footage from NASA's Horizon mission has proved otherwise. The photographs reveal that Pluto is teeming with fascinating geographical oddities. Now, dunes of frozen methane are found across the Sputnik Planitia plains. A vast range of mountains of water ice stretches alongside them, each jutting out around three miles now, high. These mounts are formed from tiny crystals of methane around the same size as grain of sand that have been whipped up by the glacial winds from nearby mountains. The dunes are also thought to contain frosted nitrogen crystals. Pluto is the latest addition to growing list of celestial bodies on which astronomers have spotted dunes, which includes Venus, Titan, and the comet 67P. So let's move on to the next one. Number six, Martian humps. Now, this is an interesting one. When NASA launched its InSight lander to study Mars in 2018, nobody expected it to find planet Hummel. But that is precisely what the spacecraft detected. Now, according to InSight's readings, the red planet is emitting an endless hum. Now you see, InSight is equipped with high-precision seismometer and a range of detectors. Researchers say that data from InSight has already revealed an enormous amount about the planet's structure and magnetic field. Since it landed, the lander has recorded over 450 cases of seismic activity, or as some experts call them, Mars quakes. Unlike Earth, Mars has no tectonic plates, which means scientists are still trying to work out exactly how the quakes are caused. But the most Surprising of InSight's discoveries is the mysterious Martian hum. The seismic signal buzzes away at 2.4 Hz and seems grow louder when planet quakes. Researchers are unsure about the origins of the unexpected throb, although they have ruled out the wind. Now, as I said, Mars is one of the most intriguing planets in our solar systems, and we really, really think that not only we will be able to discover life, but we'll also be able to discover structures very similar to on our planet. Number five, methane rain on Titan. First of all, let me be clear, Titan is not a planet in our solar system, but it's the largest of the Saturn's moons, and it has an unusual weather patterns. Now, apart from Earth, it is the only known body in the solar system where liquid rain falls on a solid surface. However, unlike the Earth, the rains on Titan are very, very infrequent. According to NASA's Cassini Orbiter, there are areas of Titan that only receive rainfall around once every thousand years. And instead of water, it rains methane. You know, we would be seeing a pattern here. Every other planet in the solar system has something or other going on with methane. Now, anyhow, it might not rain often on Titan, but when it does, it pours. Meters of rainfalls can come cascading down in one shower. Severe battering etches deep river channels into the surface of the moon. Astronomers have even discovered vast lakes and seas of liquid methane. If you thought that was all, one of the mysteries puzzling scientists is the lack of cloud cover around the North Pole. Cracking this conundrum could expand our understanding of weather patterns in general, but for now, it remains completely unknown. So number four is Jupiter's icy moon. Now a new study, a very recent one, suggests that one of the Jupiter's moon might glow in dark. Researchers reckon that Europa could emit a greenish glow caused by the intense radiation from Jupiter's magnetic field. Europa is known to be coated in a thick layer of ice. The frosted moon faces an endless barrage of electrons. When the charged particles slam into Europa's icy surface, they transfer some of their energy to the molecules in the ice. The energized molecules then release the energy as light, which scientists say could give the moon an eerie shimmer which we see. So number three, strange mass hiding under the surface of the moon. Now beneath the largest crater in the solar system lies a giant hunk of metal and no one is sure what it is doing there. The elusive mass is thought to be around five times the size of the island of Hawaii, nestled under the South Pole Aitken Basin on the far side of the moon. The movie Dark Side of the Moon was kind of based on this discovery. The crater is roughly oval shaped 
over 1200 miles wide and many, many miles deep. Astronomers believe it was created 4 billion years ago, but the mass itself lies hundreds of miles underground. Scientists discovered the metal anomaly during the study of moon's surface and gravitational field. If recent studies are to be believed, there is a huge interest in discovering the origins of this puzzling underground lump. One theory states it could have come from the asteroids that blasted the crater into the moon's surface. The core of a meteorite is often made of iron nickel alloy. Computer simulations have shown that this metallic core could have become lodged in the moon's mantle. Now since Apollo missions there has been a lot to be done to understand the structures of our moon and maybe the research following this will help us identify from where this huge chunk of metal comes. Now number two, mysterious rust found on moon. I'm sure you're aware that iron starts to rust after long periods around oxygen and water. So you can imagine the surprise when astronomers discovered rust on moon. Now, using the data from India's Chandrayaan-1 mission, Hawaiian researchers Shao Li showed clear signs of iron oxide or as it is more commonly known as rust on the lunar surface. Now at first scientists were flummoxed by Lee's finding. How does rust form in a place where there is no oxygen? On top of that, solar winds subject the moon to an onslaught of hydrogen atoms. Now hydrogen is known to give away its electrons, making it even more difficult for iron to oxidize. Rust on the moon should be impossible. And yet the evidence was beyond dispute. Then came the breakthrough. Now astronomers discovered that the answer lies in the shape of the Earth's magnetic field. Earth is also constantly whipped by solar winds which squashes and distorts the planet's magnetic field. This causes the part of the field farthest from the sun to stretch backwards like a tail. Now this magneto tail extends 240,000 miles into space. Now, during its orbit of the Earth, the moon briefly dips inside the magneto tail. At this point, the Earth shields the moon from its usual bombardment of hydrogen. Interesting, isn't it? The magnetic field also deposits small amount of oxygen on the surface of the moon. Now for just a moment during this time, the conditions are right for us to form. Just imagine how much less we know about our own moon. So as we go on deeper and deeper into understanding the data which is coming from Chandrayaan and other probes which have been sent to moon, we would get to know more about our own moon. Number one, the solar system's first known visitor. This is an interesting one. In 2017, a giant cigar-shaped structure became the first known interstellar object to visit the solar system. The strange visitor left scientists scratching their heads as it hurled around the sun 196,000 miles per hour. Astronomers know that this object sped into the solar system from somewhere else in the space. They reckon it measures around half a mile in length and a tenth of that in the width. They predict that the cosmic traveler should tumble around the sun's orbit for a while before shooting off again. Now, other than that, little is understood about the elusive wandering object. Now, according to NASA, scientists have no idea what this object is made from, from where it has come, and how long it is going to stay in the solar system. But there's a lot of research going on. There are currently an array of telescopes around the world and in the space trailing the mysterious visitor. You see, our universe is full of mysteries and surprises. And as we continue to explore using modern technology, we continue to uncover the reasons of our existence. What commoditization of space research has done is that we have come closer to uncovering these mysteries one small step at a time. I hope the investments into space research continues and we continue to discover more and more about the vast universe we live into. So until the next video, see you again.